Welcome. Let's discuss the triangle angle bisector theorem. Given the triangle on the left, what would happen if we bisect an angle in this triangle? In this case, let's bisect angle B. So therefore, angle B got cut into two congruent angles. Let's call this intersection E. And notice that this angle bisector also cut the original triangle into two smaller triangles. Triangle BAE and triangle BEC. And there is a relationship between these two triangles, and that is that the sides of those triangles are in proportion. And we can define the proportion as follows. Those sides which are opposite of the congruent angles which in this case, that will be AE and EC. They will be equivalent to the sides of the original triangle, which in this case, that was AB and BC. And recall that the fraction on the left, that is the ratio among the sides, which are opposite of the congruent angles, And the fraction on the right, these are the sides of the original triangle. And another thing to keep in mind is that the numerators of both of our fractions, they come from the same triangle, which in this case, that was the left triangle. And the denominators, AC and BC, they come from the same triangle, the triangle on the right. And this is an illustration of the triangle angle bisector theorem. Given any triangle, if you bisect an angle, then you have a proportion among the sides of the original triangle. Let's take a look at the second and the third case. In our second case, let's bisect angle A. And if that's the case, then I notice that these two angles are congruent to each other. Let's call that intersection E. Then the triangle angle bisector theorem says that we get BE which is the side opposite of the congruent angle on the left, and we divide it by line segment EC, which is opposite of the congruent angle on the right. That will be equivalent to AB over AC. And these are the sides opposite of the congruent angles. And these are the sides of our triangle. And the numerators, they belong to the same triangle. BE and AB are on the triangle on the left. And the denominators, they belong to the same triangle. EC and AC, they belong to the triangle on the right. And our third case is what will happen if we bisect angle C? Let's call this intersection E. Then by the triangle angle bisector theorem, we know that the ratio of AE divided by EB That will be equivalent to the ratio of AC divided by BC. Which notice that our first proportion here, it is a proportion among the sides opposite of the congruent angles, which happened by the angle bisector. And our second proportion, those are the sides of our triangle. And recall that the numerators, they come from the same triangle, that would be the triangle on the left, and our denominators, they come from the same triangle, the triangle on the right. Regardless of which angle gets bisected, this result always holds true. If you divide the sides which are opposite of the congruent angles, they will always be equivalent to the sides of your original triangle, and we refer to this as the triangle angle bisector theorem. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.